Hey there, everybody. How's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Satterton, Pennsylvania. Decided to show you another product from Winnebago here. Looking at the Micro Mini Series. This is the 2108 FBS. It's going to be great for any of you uh, couples out there looking to get out into the camping world, the trailering world. It's got even an extra sleeping space on the dinette. Maybe you got a little kid that you want to bring along or the pets. Throw them on there. I'll take you around the outside, the inside, show you some features and see if this might be the trailer for you. Starting on the outside, of course, you do have the Winnebago fiberglass gel-coated front cap on the front. Looks really nice. Holds up very well. You'll have your two 20-pound propane tanks that'll be underneath that cover. That'll run your furnace, uh, your fridge if you want to run it off that. Your stove top also. Power tongue jack, which is nice to see. Just power it up and down, and you've got an LED light up in the front if you need to have that. Coming along the side, you can see you have a big power awning up there. It does have an LED strip, which I have on at the moment. Once you have that awning opened up and you're sitting out in a little bit of a nighttime setting, it's going to light up the area really nice for you. You've got power speakers up on the top. Of course, fiberglass all around the sides, the backs. I'll open up that uh, exterior storage from the other side. This one does have the power jacks awning, so you've got the two switches there, and that'll bring your jacks right up and down electrically. And of course you do have a propane outlet here for if you want to do a little outdoor grill you can quick connect right under there uh, outdoor speakers that i didn't mention already you've got the off-road wheel and tire setup these winnebago sit up nice and high and give you a lot of clearance which is nice um, this package just looks really cool down going down the road also uh, you'll, on this side you'll have the back of your fridge ventilation your furnace exhaust you've got a couple outlets over here for if you want to plug in anything or you're hanging out in your awning and you've got a cable hookup in your fresh water tank fill up also. These fiberglass walls are backed by an Asdale backing, for those of you that know about it. Spare on the back, you've got a ladder to get up to your roof. And these are prepped for a backup camera if you'd like to get one. Coming along the back side, you'll see you do have that nice slide out there. Gives you a lot of extra room on the inside, which is nice. You'll have an outdoor shower cable hookups, your 30 amp cord hookup, you've got uh, your water hookup, and you've got your sewage down below, which sits up nice and high also, so you don't have to bend down too far and get any of those hookups done. And it also has a black tank flush on it, which is really nice. And of course you'll have your six gallon gas electric hot water heater located over here. Coming along the front, I'll get you in the front storage bin. These doors are nice and thick magnets to hold them up the keys in there so right now it won't stick but there's your full pass through which will pass through the front for bringing any of your belongings with you now a ton of space for in here you've got a battery disconnect switch hard to see but up on the left over there you do have the solar controller this does have the 100 watt solar panel already on the roof with the solar controller installed for you really nice for any of you dry camping you want to keep that battery trickle charging that solar is going to help you out Coming up onto the inside, of course, you've got a screen door on the front door. Steps to come in. And we'll take a little walk around first here so you can get an idea of what the trailer's like. This has a rear bath set up, a nice big booth dinette so you could easily sit four people. And then coming around to the back side, you've got your RV queen bed with some storage around. So we'll start up here with your main connections. You've got your awning in and out. This does have the tank heaters on board. You've got an insulated and closed underbelly with tank heating pads on the tanks themselves. So you can just flip that switch up and we'll turn the tank heaters on. There's forced air that blows down there also. You've got interior, exterior, light switches, check your tank levels, turn on your water pump and your water heater. And of course your slide out control. In your galley area, nice set of drawers, some Cabinets for you, of course, have a countertop extension if you need a little more space with some outlets on the side. You do have a light hidden up here. Up above, you'll find some nice deep storage. Your stink is a stainless steel one, so that'll pass all the way back underneath. That's a nice big deep sink, so you'll be able to actually do plenty of dishes in here. And then down below, you have these really long deep drawers, which come all the way down here. And a nice spot for maybe a small waste basket, some other goodies that you want to throw into there. Up 
above, since you don't have an oven on board, this does have a convection microwave, so you can work that like an oven. Three burner cooktop will be right under this glass here. Flip that up. It's nice to see in a trailer of this size that they're putting the three burner range on there, and a little two burner. And then down below, nice spot for maybe some pots and pans. Coming up above that, you've got your nice big eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. Pop this open, you've got the freezer up above. Down below, you've got your fridge space. It's a nice big fridge for a trailer this size. Easily fit a week's worth of foods and drinks in there. Got your toilet. Some nice storage back in the bathroom. Finally underneath, you've got a deep bin and a nice hanging closet space up above that. Stainless steel sink in the bathroom. Medicine cabinet up above with a mirror built in. And down below, some more storage. Coming along to your shower side, and you can see back here. Pop this open for us. Got the shower with the skylight. It's a pretty big shower in here. That uh, square pan is quite wide. So you have plenty of space for standing in there. There's your booth dinette. As I said, this will fold down and make a bed. So the tabletop drops down very simply. Put the cushions on top. You've got a nice, pretty wide bed on there. Probably fit easily two kids on there. One adult easily. And if you're sitting there, you can face towards your TV. You've got your connects system up above. You can pair your phone to that and play your music through there. And your climate control will be next to that. Of course, have some storage up above the side there. And let me not forget the side storage bin here. And the dinette does house some storing right underneath that. And that goes all the way back. So again, this trailer is just over 22 feet. And you've got tons of storage on this thing. Cabinets all around. Your window shades. Your privacy. These just lift up and pull back down for when you want to get it either closed off in here or open it up for some light. Your back room does have the privacy curtain, which will shoot across for your privacy. You've got a little space up above so that you can put some goodies up there. There's an outlet up there, but if you can't reach that outlet, you've got some outlets and USB on the side over here. Let me show you what the storage looks like on either side. You've got hanging space under there. And on this side, you've got the same deal. Goes back pretty far and some more hanging space. And if that storage that we all just seen wasn't enough, you can pop the bed up, it's on some struts. You've got some big space under there. You can hide somebody in there. I could definitely fit in there. And then push this right back down and you've got your nice size bed. Air conditioner is roof mounted. It's ducted through the ceiling. You do also have some vents. You've got one in the bathroom above your head that you can also use for ventilation. You're just sitting on the bed, you can get an idea of this nice floor space that you have in here with that slide out open. Really makes a difference in living. So if you're staying somewhere for a weekend, maybe even a week, you can be able to walk around and get around pretty easily. So this is the 2021 Winnebago Micro Mini 21 weight FPS here at Fred's RV of Satterton, Pennsylvania. Yeah, my name is Bronson. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to get back to you. If you want to call it to the dealership and even have more questions, I'll be glad to help. Just ask for me. We do have a couple of these on the lot, which we just got in. Um, other than that, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up with my further content. I'll have plenty more trailers, vans, fifth wheels, class A, B, C, you name it. It's coming to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.